so this is going to be a short video, I guess, or a long video. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing right now. So, um, right now I'm making this little block game for the 3DS. Um, I had this here a long time ago, and you was able to pretty much edit this, like, uh, I don't even remember how you did this. Well, I do know how you did this, but I don't know what kind of blocks there were. So, I'm just going to copy and paste this. And, uh, yes, yeah, this right here. That block, that wasn't there before, so that was added. And, um, yeah, it was something like that. Let me try this out. Um, uh, block, and then I guess that was X. So let's say 50, the Y will be 300, width, uh, we want it to be noticeable, so 300, and the height, let's say 50. So, and yeah, that, that's what happened on uh, this old one that I made. So now I have that block right here that I uh, just made. So, <clears throat> Unlike this one, uh, this new one I'm making, it's only for the bottom screen, unfortunately. But this one, this was, uh, the whole top screen and bottom screen, but it had this little issues when, uh, you press up and down and left and right. Like, if you push left and right, um, you can go here right now, you know. If you go left and right, it'll just have a little, uh, side-scrolling kind of saying, and it's annoying. And if you go up and down, well, I think it's only down. If you go down, if you press down, then it will scroll down a little bit, and that's annoying too. So, uh, I could just cut off the edges so that you only have that down problem when you press down. So that, uh, because if I cut off the edges of uh, the 3DS, it won't scroll left and right. But what I'm just going to do is just have it only on the bottom screen, because when you do that, well then, when you press up, down, left, to right, it would just never scroll because it fits perfectly on the bottom screen. So, um, that's what I'm going to do here. And, uh, <clears throat> this is the size. It's exact, almost, like, it's pretty much the same thing as this, where each block counts as 10, um, pixels. Well, actually, pretty much every pixel is, you know, a little pixel thing. So, uh, it's pretty much the same thing, uh, what I mean is, the new one is pretty much the same thing as the old one, except it's only gonna be, it's gonna only gonna be the, uh, the bottom screen, which would be, like, right here, if I could, uh, highlight that, but I can't, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, um, like the last, well, not like the last one, I don't think this one I programmed it, so that you could, uh, well, um, I think I did make this one, um, hold on. No, I didn't. Well, anyways, what was supposed to happen is that you're supposed to edit this box, or text area, or whatever you want to call it, and then, um, you would be given, like, a URL, and then it'll have all of the blocks and all that data, so that when you load the page, it will load the page to whatever you made. So, um, when you make your own little block uh, world thing, all you have to do is just give your friends or something the URL, and then the game, you know, everything will be set up, and then they could just play it, that, uh, just by the URL. So, um, yeah, if you want to save a world or something, all you have to do would, uh, just bookmark the page, and that's it. You'll, you'll be saved. Which is, you know, it's nice, and it's in the URL also, so, um... It's just, you give them the link and that's it. I don't have to, you know, make pages on my website or something like that. It's just, you know, it's, that's how you would share it. Like, uh, right now, um, this is in the URL. And then I could just, I could change it up a bit. I'm just going to make a, a bunch of, uh, B blocks. So now, yeah, when it loads, it has all these blocks right here. And the rest is, uh, it's just blank. If, um, it doesn't, uh the URL is missing it. So, um, 
yeah, that's pretty much how it's gonna work. And uh, I could just make a bunch of random stuff right here if I wanted to, like uh, A B B B B A whatever, and then copy paste that a few times, and then all those um, you know, you see, everything you did is right here. And um, so yeah, you could just uh, go walk around or whatever. Um, and what I just made. Uh, let's make this bigger. <clears throat> yeah, so, um, pretty much that's how it's gonna work and how you're gonna share it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a nice idea that I had a long time ago. But, um, that's how it's gonna work. It's just gonna be in the URL. So, uh, you know, if you need to edit anything, um, well, the URL is not going to actually help because it's going to be hard to tell which block is which. But, uh, yeah, it's just in the URL. You can bookmark the page and then you save pretty much the world. So, um, yeah. I mean, if I... This was the bookmark, then, you know, just to be more clear, it would load that world I made. So, you know, they're both the same. And uh, that's how this was supposed to work. You know, it had all this code here, but, uh, I'm making a new one, and it's gonna be nice. It's gonna, let me refresh the page. Um, how do I put that? I'm trying to get that box back. Uh, oh, there it is. It came back. Uh, okay, I don't know what happened, but anyways, this is a little editor thing I have right now. I don't think it, it doesn't do anything yet, but it's gonna be real uh, nice on a 3DS browser, and what I mean by that is that uh, for the computer browsers, I have these little arrow keys so that uh, you can press it to change the block. I'm not sure if it'll be like this. So I have different ideas of keeping it like this, or making a drop-down menu, or making a little thing where uh, I click the block type that I want, then uh, it'll show like all these options of blocks on the bottom, and then I click it to change it or you know, like, uh, I'm just not sure how I'm going to organize this. But uh, right now, I have it so that this would be the type. It doesn't do nothing yet. But then, if you click this, then it will just uh, go, you know, right to the next block or something. And if you click, click, click the left arrow, it will just, you know, it will change the block in the, whatever order the blocks are in. <clears throat> but on the 3DS, this type thing, uh, if you can see that little rectangle right there, on a 3DS, that means if this is highlighted, then I already have it fixed so that on a 3DS, if you just press the left arrow, or pretty much if you press the left or right, then it will change the type automatically. So that, uh, yeah. Like on computer, I could do it right now, I think. Uh, yeah, if I press left or right, then it will change the type. And, uh, you know, forget that. It's getting confusing. Um, but anyways, yeah, this is what it is. Uh, you know, it's just been a little world, and then, you know, as you can see right now, that it checks all the hits and everything. Um, of course, your, this little white block thing, it's gonna be, a, I guess a pixel character or something. But, yeah. It's, you know, it works. Um, the speed on the 3DS, it's, uh, well... Since it could be kind of slow if you're moving a lot, I think what I'm going to do is make this, the character speed be this fast. Like what you see right here would be the, the fastest you can go on a 3DS. Uh, so um, the reason for that is because if you go faster, it starts lagging. Yeah, it's... And uh, I don't want to go into complicated details on a 3DS just to make sure all of these blocks work and uh well um long story short yeah that's just gonna be it when you start moving the character it's probably gonna be this fast and to me i think that's fine anyways because you're zoomed out like a lot you know that's the height of the player of the character so when you start moving around you're not gonna be moving you know this fast i mean i don't know why you'll be moving that fast for but um yeah i guess that's pretty much it for uh what I'm doing right now, which is remaking this thing right here. Um, I'm not sure if it'll be the same color. You know, this looks kind of weirdish. You know, it's red, blue, something. 
I do like this. I like the little grid paper I have. I might make custom backgrounds, actually, so that you can, um, you know, you can have a background that looks like this, or a background that looks like this, or, you know, maybe I'll make uh, little pixel pictures and, you know, have blocks look like they're stones or something, and then use that as the background, which would be a lot nice. A lot nicer. Nicer. So, um, I guess that's it for this game. If you want to... If you have any questions, just ask me. And, um, you might wonder if the 3DS, if this really works kind of, um, normal in a 3DS if I move the character. But, yeah, it does. And the reason why I'm bringing that up is because 3DS, it does check if you hit every single one of these blocks. Which is, uh, uh, I forgot how much, but probably over 600 blocks. So yeah, every you know every time you move and all that stuff, it checks every single block. Um, that's not really important, but uh, if you make your own games, then um, that'll probably be neat because you probably wonder why you know it works on a 3DS checking 600 blocks, but you will be moving only one pixel at a time like that. But anyways, forget that. Next is this. I have two games now. Um. The, yeah, two games. Um, this, by the way, this is the date I put it on the website. It doesn't even mean if I created it on that date. It's just the date I put it on the website. And the second date, this is the last time I updated it, like a major update of something new. So, um, when this one got updated, it, uh, was, uh, because I started to save the best wave, um, and the times played. But I didn't really add nothing else. But that was, you know, to me that's a major update. To save, you know, those records. I might add it, uh, update it again so that you can save how many times you shot an airplane or whatever. Because on the zombie one, I saved, um, the lifetime of the zombie kills. But anyways, these are the two games I have. And they, they're only for, well they're not only for, but they're made for the Nintendo 3DS internet browser. And if you're logged in, of course, it would save the best score, best wave, collected items, which is only the fire bits, and how many times you played it. And that's a little description. If you want to share it, <coughs> these URLs and stuff, it should always work. I have it, I had, I had it like this on my last website for probably a year now, and I never changed it because I didn't need to. You know, if you're searching something, you know, the URL is, you know, it's short enough, and, uh, yeah, I just... If you want to share it, that link should always work. Should always, but it's not guaranteed. And, um, yeah, I posted these two. And, um, if I play it, uh, well, there's nothing to it. I'll just show you since I'm making the video. Um, <clears throat> um, uh, it saved, when it saves the first time, that's how many times you played it. So right now, um, how many times I played it was increased. So, well, this is pretty much it. Uh, if you want to play it, just play it yourself, I guess. I don't need a, um do anything with it. Um, and then the zombie game has broken bones and it, it uses the fire bits from... Uh, let me keep this open. See this one, the collect what you can collect is fire bits. And I have a little page for it too. So that when I start getting a lot of items then uh, this will be pretty much helpful. So it's fire bits. Can be collected when there is a fire and for now, the only fire is when these things blow up, then it makes that fire. So that's how you collect it. And, um, this has broken bones. I just added it. I didn't really know what to put in here. You know, it's just a zombie game. And it's for the 3DS browser, so I'm limited to some, um, I'm pretty restricted on some stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, it says it can be collected when a thing that has bones is destroyed. And the thing that has bones in this game is the zombies. So, um, yeah, that's it for the fire bits and the broken bones. This saves the waves, collected items, times played, and then the lifetime zombie kills. So every time you kill a zombie, uh, when it saves, you know, it has to save, it will pretty much add those kills to your total zombie kills. So, um, yeah. And uh, if you're not logged in, then you'll have 999 uh, ammo. Where is it? Yeah, it's right here. It says it right here. So if you're not logged in, you can still play a little bit. 
But if you are logged in, you have to have the fire bits. So if, if you're logged in, you have to play this game for a little bit. Um, you don't even have to play that much. Oops, wrong one. But, uh, because every fire, this you collect a lot of fire bits in this game. See, like right now, uh, I have 101 fire bits already. So, um, that's 101 ammo. Now I have 200 ammo. So, you know, it was just a few seconds and I got plenty of, well, not plenty of ammo, but I got enough ammo. So now, if you're logged in and if you play this game, um, is it this one? No. Well, that's old. Anyways, I take that off. If you're logged in, I'm logged in. So, um, right now I have, uh, 288,652 fire bits. So I'm, you know, I'm pretty loaded. Um, I just got a bone already. You didn't even see that. But, um, this is pretty much the game. It's just a randomly generated little flat land right like this. Um, let me show you by refreshing the page. Um, now it's, uh, looks exactly the same. Well, not exactly, but, yeah. Let me refresh it again. Let's see what I get now. Uh, a little bumpy. It looks, it looks almost the same. I want to show one that's completely different. Uh, well, that one has a bigger hill. But, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, yeah, see, that one, that was a big hill right there. But, um, that's pretty much it, what I mean by our random, uh, worlds. And then, um, I could make this better, but, you know, let's not forget, I'm limited with the 3DS internet browser. So, there's only a few, you know, I can't do all this stuff at once. But, uh, as you saw that, that was a little bone. They disappear over time. Um... Yeah, the bones, I'm not sure how long they stay, but it's only for a few seconds, at most. And, uh, yeah, they they appear almost at random, so, um, yeah, collecting bones is not going to be as easy as getting those fire bits. But, um, yeah, um, the next game I'm going to make is this, but it won't use any of the collected items. So, if you want to use the fire bits for a game, you have to wait. But you might as well collect it right now. So, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is your life, by the way. And, uh, if the zombies are touching you, they kill you. And as you saw that, um, it was starting to kill me. Your life regenerates very little over time. So, uh, if you need life really bad, just have all the zombies stay in one little line or something. And then when you get on the hill like this, you can just jump over it without getting hit. And keep doing that to get all, until you, uh, all your life comes back. And um, as you can see, we can't really count all those zombies. But that's definitely a good amount of zombies to have for a 3DS browser. In my point of view. But uh, the zombie limit is only 10. So after there's 10 zombies on the world, you have to start killing them to have more respawn or something like that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, before the game saves, I'm going to go to my profile and uh, show you that the broken bones I have is 273. I refresh the page, still 273. But now when it sa this saves it, I'm going to have 6 added to that. Also, the fire bits I used will be decreased by whatever I used. So my fire bits now should look like uh, this, exactly like that. So, um, let me refresh the page. Now I have 279, uh, broken bones. I think that was right. Um, I had 273. Yeah, so that was, that should have worked. Um, the fire bits, it's 287,884. And 200, you know, that's the same thing. You know, it, save, it saves the fire bits that you lost. So, if you use it in this game then you used it here too. So this is really your collection. Um, on the zombie game, you can only go to round 21, and that's why I have that at round 21, because I went all the way to the last level, and let me tell you, that took a really long time. So I wouldn't recommend doing it, but if you do do it, I wouldn't recommend putting it on the 3DS. Uh, I even posted a comment here too. I said I wouldn't recommend doing it on, on, on the 3DS because if you press the L button or if you throw the 3DS, uh, if you close the 3DS browser, then the saves will be disabled.
But also, the reason why you close the 3DS browser, and the reason why the save is disabled when you close the 3DS browser, is because your 3DS browser loses the internet connection that it has. So, um, yeah, if you lose the internet connection also, then I'm think, I think the save, the automatic save will be uh, disabled also. So I wouldn't recommend going to 21 unless you're on a computer so that you won't have any problems with saving. And I killed 2,606 zombies already, and I guess I played it 31 times now. So, um, yeah. That's it for those two games, and that's pretty much it for everything. The only new thing I really added was this collection thing for, uh, you know, to have little items with, uh, you know, tell you what they what it is and stuff. But that is pretty much it. But that is pretty much it. Face thing. And if you go here, you don't have to be logged in. If you go here, you'll see that I added, uh, I added that post. Yep. <clears throat> of course, you won't care, but you know, I made everything by myself. No, I didn't even go to school for this. I learned everything I did by myself. Oh, <sighs> but yeah, that's that's pretty much it, I guess. Cause I was just gonna show these little two little games, and then I was gonna show um the the this little block game I'm making too. But uh, yeah, it works on a 3ds browser, and uh, I'm still working on it now. So that's pretty much just uh what I've been doing, and um uh, yeah, that's pretty much. It again. So if you have any questions, you can just let me know. And um that should be the end of this video, I think. And um Yep. You're probably gonna wonder, um, but uh I will add this old game because this website's gonna die soon if I don't pay for it. But I don't wanna pay for it. But like I said before one time, if you haven't played this yet, you might as well do it now. But I think I'm going to add it to um, this website because I am paying for this one. It's different web hosts, by the way. It's not just the same web host with a different domain name. So I'm ba I'm paying for both, and this one's pretty much dead. But um, yeah, I'm probably gonna add this game here. So when you see it here, don't be surprised or don't be thinking, you know, something like, you know, you just copied paste this game, blah blah blah, because I did. But I'll probably have it in the description anyway saying what happened. Because, you know, I'm an honest person. And, um, well, that's pretty much it. If you haven't played this, though, play it. It really... The speed in the 3DS browser is really nice. It's it's really nice. It's probably faster than these new ones I made. I'm not joking. So if you haven't played this on a 3DS browser, just play it. Well, you don't have to play it. Because it's really boring. It's really a long game. You have to find ten crystals and... The pixels of the whole entire world, I don't even remember how big it is. There's 25 of these little images, and each of these images is 900 by 450 pixels big. So the whole world is really huge, I'm not joking. And you have to, have to find 10 crystals. And it takes forever, but it is fast. So if you haven't went here yet, you might as well go here. It's a nice game to play if you've been playing 3DS browser games. And if you started really hating how slow they are, you know, play that other game I had. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much everything. So, yeah, when I finish this, I'm not sure what I'm going to work on. Um, what do I have here? I have... Huh, I don't, I don't have much to do. Well, I do have much, but I don't have nothing new compared to what I've been doing lately. Um, oh, yeah. After I make this, I'll probably make it for another 3DS browser, I'm not sure. Or maybe try to make it compatible with 3DS browser and PC browsers. But what I'm going to do next, I think, is, uh, well, not that. Not that. It's going to be, um, well, it's just going to be a new game that pretty much will have a bunch of items and, um, let you use items. You know, maybe if you don't have any diamonds or something, you can give them, you know, a bunch of bones and stuff, and then they'll give you a diamond, or I don't know. I just want to have, I just want to um have a bunch of items and um a little 
Oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna make something like Pokemon, I guess. Just, uh... Well, not like Pokemon, but, you know, one of those little adventure things like that. Where you're just a person, and then you go around a little world... And then you had that little battle scene, and then, you know, you just, you know, you choose the options of attacking, using fire or something, or run away, or potions or something. Um, that's what I'm going to work on next. I think that's what I'm going uh, to work on next. So, um, yeah. Well, I guess that'll be the end of this video. And, um, I guess that's it. So, yeah. If you have any questions, just ask me.